Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to model design strips for a one-way elevated concrete slab that is supported by concrete beams. At this point in our workflow, we're ready to model the design spans in the longitude direction. As a reminder, the longitude direction for this system is parallel to the concrete beams. Now in RAM concept, you can model your design spans either manually using the tool in the layer specific toolbar, or you can ask the program to generate them. With both of these commands, the program will use the default design span properties that we set up in the previous video. Let's go ahead and use the generate option. So in your standard toolbar, you can click on the generate spans icon. We're going to be generating our spans in the longitude direction, which is parallel to the global Y axis. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. Now whenever you ask the program to generate your design spans for you, RAM Concept will remind you that you may need to review your generated spans to determine if they are reasonable and make any necessary changes. So we'll acknowledge this warning and click OK. Now if you do find you need to make any manual changes, you can delete any of your design strips and go with a more manual approach. And you can also use any of these tools that are available on each layer to either move, stretch, or rotate any of the objects on that particular layer. Now at this point in our workflow, we're ready to generate our design strips. Now in RAM concept to generate your strips from spans that have already been modeled, you're going to go to your standard toolbar and click on your generate strips icon. So let's go ahead and review the information we have so far. In the longitude direction, we've modeled our design spans for our concrete T-beam system. Here we can see the darker hatched areas represent the column strip, while the lighter hatched areas represent the middle strip option. Now, if you would like to review your perspective plans for your design strips, you will need to perform a preliminary calculation first. Now our system doesn't have everything it needs for a final calculation, but if I were to perform a calculation at this point, I'd be able to see those design strips in a perspective view. So let's go ahead and run a preliminary calculation for this system and review the perspective plan. To review your design strip perspective, we'll go to the layers menu bar item go to design strip and we're going to select the longitude cross-section perspective. Now from this plan you should be able to see all of your design strips that were created. You'd also be able to see your shear core information and your trimming. Now at this point in the workflow after viewing your perspective you may decide that you want to change some of the properties or some of the information and then regenerate your strips. To do that you're just going to return to your design strips plan and to change the properties of any design strip you can highlight it right click and say selection properties and here you can see all the parameters uh, can be changed if you do change anything of course you're going to want to regenerate your strips and then re-perform your preliminary calculation and review your results If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.